What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another video for you and today I want to show you guys how to speed farm the Fibber using the Community Patch 4.0. If you don't already know about the Community Patch 4.0 there will be a link down in the description of this video. You can check that out, download it for yourself. Now it is only on PC. It does not work for console so sorry Xbox, PS4, PS3, Xbox 360 owners. Just doesn't work for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Nothing we can do about it. It's only for PC. So once you have the patch installed, make sure that you execute the patch every time that you do this. And then what you're going to need to have done is you're going to have need to have already beaten the Handsome Jack DLC, the uh, actually the Tiny Tina Assault and Dragon Keep DLC. I don't know why I called it the Handsome Jack DLC. I'm stupid. Um, and then uh, you need to do the Fake Geek Guy mission located in Flame Rock Refuge, which you get from Mr. Torg. After you complete that, he will then be able to give you other missions, including Raiders of the Last Boss, which is the mission where you come here and you can fight the, the Dragons of Destruction. But you don't have to do that for this. That's the beauty of this farm. You don't have to fight those Dragons at all. All you're going to do is you're going to run along this path just as I am doing. You're going to get up here to the stair, and I'm going to show you guys how to bypass everything and get to the Mimic Chest. Because on the Community Patch 4.0, Mimics can drop the fibber. So you see this beam right here at the base of these stairs right before you get to that tunnel right there At the base of these stairs. There's this beam right here What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your inventory You're gonna take a grenade mod. You're gonna put it in your backpack so that this says empty You're gonna throw a grenade right here at this post and Then at about three actually about two seconds you you'll have to work on the timing yourself You're just gonna jump and that grenades gonna launch you up in the air then you're just going to follow the rest of this pathway as I'm showing you here. You're going to run past this. You're going to run past this torch. You're going to jump on this rock. And then from here, you want to just fall down. You don't want to jump. If you jump, you'll go off the map here. Just fall down. And that brings you into this room. Now, if you have a B shield and whatever weapon you like, this will be an easy farm. Because all you got to do is open the chest and kill the mimics. And uh, let's see if we can get a fibber to drop from one of these guys while we're making this video for you. That's the, the good thing about this farm. Now, if you if you want... A, oh, there we go. i got a facilitating fibber, but see how it has the times one at the end of it? That's not one that we want. What we're really looking for is something like this, where it has that massive amount of damage. We want something with a better grip than this, um, preferably a uh, Hyperion grip, uh, so that it has matching parts. This one has a Hyperion grip. See how it has like that base on the, on the bottom of it? This one also has Jacob's Sights and uh, shock damage, but it's only 64. So we're looking for something that looks like that. Uh, preferably a win-win prefix with a uh, corrosive element for Digistruct Peak would be wonderful. But the good thing about this farm is uh, this is a good way before you go into Digistruct Peak to get you a fibber that has uh, elements on it. Now it might take you a while to get you the, the perfect one, but you know that's why it's a farm. You know it, sh it shouldn't be perfectly easy every time you do it, right? So there you have it guys, that is a quick and easy guide to how to farm the Fibber. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new here. I post lots of helpful videos, lots of top fives, all kinds of other stuff. We do have this final chest here. So if you enjoy this video, always make sure you hit the like button because it absolutely helps community or uh, content creators, not community creators. I don't, I don't create communities. <laughs> it helps the content creators know that they're making stuff that you enjoy. All right, guys, that will be it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.